Hello everybody and welcome to a special edition of Big Sky Hobby Corner. If you notice we're not down in the uh, hobby corner. Well, <laughs> what I have to re reveal to you today won't fit down there at the current time. So it came in the big brown truck today from UPS and Tower Hobbies. It's the 30cc Avastar. Um, I'm really excited about this because I have a special spot in my heart for Avastars. I've always had. It seems like um, way back when, I've always had the Avastar 40. Pass that on down to my youngest son, Ryan, who currently has an Avastar 40. Well, this thing hit the market, uh, I think it was in December, and I just thought, man, I, I've got to get one of those. And uh, with timing and everything working just right, here it is. Um, Ordered it through Tower Hobbies last Wednesday. This is Monday, and here it is. Um, I'm really stoked about this. Um, I've got the power plant out in the shop. We're going to use an MLD 35 to power this. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to use some high torque servos as well because um, this thing is huge. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I know it's kind of funny, kind of awkward because the camera setup I have is actually designed to work on the bench. Well, it's not. I just got to do the best I can with what I have at this time, okay? Because evidently I'm not going to be able to set this on the bench and get it uncorked. Um, I have not opened the box yet. So what you see for the first time will also be what I see for the first time. So let me get everything situated and find a good spot to uh, have the camera and we can pop the lid off this bad boy and uh, see what we have. Forgive me. Um... I'm here by myself. 80% um, of the time when I do these videos, I am by myself. I don't have anybody to hold the camera for me. So, um, you kind of got the best vantage point with what I have. You're hanging out on top of my fridge right now. I got the box sitting on the couch. I'm going to pop the lid off of this and start going through stuff. But periodically, I'll take close-up stills and throw them in on this video. Um, it's the best I can do with what I got. That's how we roll. <laughs> All right, let's get this lid off. That's how big this sucker is, you know? That's huge. Okay. Vacuum sealed for freshness, I see. Okay, let's see what we have here. Wow. All right, that's cool. <clears throat> I can already see that everything's packaged pretty tightly. Folks at Great Plains wouldn't have it any other way. The fuselage is down here on the bottom. First thing we see is our uh, our decal set and some equipment. A couple boxes of hardware. That's pretty cool. And it's all taped down to keep it from moving around. And I uh, always have one of these handy. Got it. We we have a uh, well-made Hootis. Um, you always find these Hootikai really handy when you're building an airplane. Okay, so we'll set that off to the side for now. And stickers galore. And that's cool. There's the uh, instruction manual. All the addendums and stuff. Looks like several sheets of uh, stickers there. Came with DLE stickers. Too bad I'm not going to use them. We're going to power this with an MLD 35. All right, first thing we see, and it's taped down as well. There's a horizontal stab with a pre installed elevator. When you're doing this, always be careful not to cut into what they have below it. Cut carefully. Boy, mom works there because that's uh, surely tape a lot of stuff down. All right, 
and so horizontal stabilizer and elevator pre-hinged we'll uh, check the quality of that out later looks like we got the vertical stabilizer I don't want this thing moving around, did they? That's okay. Carefully cut the tape. Yep, that's our vertical stabilizer and our rudder. We got big hands. You can just check out the size of that. You know, this is a high wing trainer type airplane. <laughs> Man, this is just too cool. All right, we got a wing half here with ailerons and flaps. This will be the root. This will be the tab. Tip. This little tiny section here is a flap. Huge aileron. I'll tell you what, they got a guy working full time just running a tape gun on this thing. We did not want to go on anywhere. And just in case, if anybody's wondering, this video is made with permission of Great Plains and Tower Hobbies. Now look at that. And I can already tell that's been covered by somebody who knew what they were doing. We got our base for our servos. Really nice. Really nice. Like I said, I'm going to leave the plastic on for right now. Because that's what I do. All right. And then the other wing panel. Same as the other. Flat. Aileron. Oh, and I see they got them dialed together here. So you can uh, opt out of the flaps if you want to and just make her one solid aileron, it looks like. That is cool. You got your strings in here as well to uh, pull your servo extensions through. That's handy. Okay. <laughs> here we have the fuselage. More, more hardware. Man, that is just too cool. Oh, you can't see. I've got it attached. To the uh, cardboard there. And check that out. That is just too cool. All right, I am going to uh, stop the video for a minute, and I'm going to unbag this stuff and lay it out, open our boxes of hardware, and uh, reposition the camera, get some stills and all that good stuff, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, here we are. This is out of the box. Um, <laughs> A lot of really neat stuff here. Everything is covered really well, the covering job on this. They, <laughs> they outdone themselves. I'm, I'm really impressed so far. Um, we have, uh, of course, the fuselage, the sticker set. Have a uh, tailwheel assembly, which that's the one we're going to use. It also comes with the option, even a hole cut, right up front here behind the firewall if you want to go with a tricycle gear, gear instead of a tail dragger. I'm going to go with the tail dragger because eventually I'm going to use this to tow sailplanes, of course, and maybe the American flag at events, whatever, you know. So we're going to go with the tail dragger setup. And with the fuel tank and all the hardware inside it. Uh, five pounds of screws, so there's going to be a lot of bolting. All the brass tube sets. Control horns. Um, even the silicone pieces and zip ties for all your control surfaces. 
It even came, this is something that's really rare. It even came with an aluminum spinner. Your additional things you're gonna need. Um, it's got a servo tray, your motor mount kits for if you decide to go with electric. Um, I don't know enough about electric. Um, nothing wrong with them, it's just never been my cup of tea. So they must use something big like a dust buster motor or something in here. Um, you got your wing joiner tube that joins that helps hold the two together, gives it strength. Your pre-painted bent landing gear system. Gigantic wheels, which is a good thing because I fly off grass. Got to have big wheels for that. Um, again, all your stabilizers. I mean, excellent shape. And instead of using, let's get up close here. Instead of using um, CA hinges, you can see right here, they actually used hinge points. They're pre-installed and pre-glued, so you don't even have to fart with none of that. Um, usually in an ARF, they come with CA hinges, which are fine for a small airplane, you know, 40 size, even 60 size. But when you get bigger, you want to have epoxy hinges, either hinge points or actual mechanical hinges. But this thing is just awesome. I mean, it's built stout too. Um, as I mentioned earlier, here's the right wing half. And here, this is where we're going to, the wing joiner tube goes. And I mentioned the strings earlier. Um, when we go to install our servos for our flaps and our ailerons, we're going to have the servo wire and the extension as well. Well, we have to get that through here somehow. Well, these strings actually go to the servo bays. We got one here, and there should be another one right there and there. Those strings actually come into these bays and you tie your servo leads to these and you just use these strings to pull them through. That's already been done for you. That's that's really, really, really cool. And I just can't get over how well that looks. I mean, it's not a wrinkle one in it. So I'm really pleased. I'm really happy with this and I really can't wait to start uh, putting it together. Um, but I want to wait till I have adequate time to actually sit down with it and do everything carefully because I want this thing perfect. Um, no excuse. <laughs> it's all pretty much built for you. Um, in an earlier video, I discussed how uh, ARFs come 80%, and this is about 80, 75, 80% done. Um, one thing, though, you got to be careful when you open your box that your ARF comes in. Um, most ARFs are like this ARF, almost ready to fly. Sometimes they'll take a box, they'll build a box and put in there to help take up space to keep things from shift, shifting around during shipping. Um, I thought that was almost the case, and I darn near pitched a box downstairs because it was light. Um, this one had all of our hardware in it that you see over here. This one... was uh, at one end, taped in there really well. And I cut the tape and I picked it up and the darn thing was really light. I almost pitched it downstairs and I'm glad I didn't because I knew I was missing some stuff. Look here, this is our cowling, our wheel pants, and our windscreen. Be careful, open your boxes before you pitch them. Make sure they don't have anything in them. It's a fiberglass cow, fiberglass wheel pants, and a Lexan windscreen. Um, man, I'm just pleased as a peach. I, I feel like a kid again, honestly. Um, it's <laughs> This is really, really cool. We were, it was a, really a blessing to be able to get this thing. Um, and I, I just can't wait. And like I said, I'm going to try to build this simultaneously with our PT-20 build as well. That way this thing is ready to fly by the time the thaw hits and... Judging by the weather today, we had clear skies and 45 degrees. It's going to come pretty quick, so I better get to work. So as soon as I get a, a place cleared out downstairs in the building corner, um, we'll uh, start rolling those tapes out. Anyway, this is our unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully one of you guys will chime in and get one of these as well. That way I got somebody local to fly with. Well, local. Somebody we can meet up at a fun fly or something and do some flying. Anyway, 
from this special edition of Big Sky Hobby Corner. Thanks for watching. And remember, you can email any questions you have um, about building. You can send me an email, call me a butthole, whatever. Big Sky Hobby Corner at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.